This is my last time and I get to, I got the opportunity of playing my NCAA tournament here and um, just enjoy that crowd because they've been incredible over my, you know, three years of having fans and it's never anything I've taken for granted. Caitlin, you were talking about Women's March Madness. What games are you watching right now? Oh man, honestly, like when I have time to watch, I ha I just have all the games on. Like and I never am like specifically watching anything. I, I watch the Men's March Madness too. Obviously, it's going to be hard to watch over tomorrow. Like we're going to be here for quite basically the entire day we were here a lot of yesterday but you know i you're rooting for your big 10 teams you root for your conference um but also like you just love the competition like you love these games that's what makes it so fun on the men's and women's side um and i think obviously as we get into the round of 32 it's going to just become even more and more competitive and that's what makes it more so much fun but um i wish i had more time to just sit down and stare at the tv all day because it's so much fun so i'm jealous of everybody else but I'm lucky enough I get to prep for another game. Maybe this is a better question for a couple nights from now, but what's the biggest message you want to deliver to the fans heading into your final home game that you're going to play here at Carver Hawkeye? I think the biggest thing is just thank you, and I'm grateful um, for these three years I've had, but even four. Like, they supported us even when they weren't able to walk in the doors, but um, a lot of these fans have been supporters of the Iowa Women's Basketball Program before I got here. Obviously, we've brought in some new ones, and I hope they continue to support this program. The girls deserve it. Coach Bluter deserves it. Um, and I know they will, um, but I think the biggest thing is like just their support of women's basketball. Like we're proud of them. They should be proud of themselves for everything that they've done to help grow this game. And um, you know, I'll miss getting to play in this arena uh, more than anything. You know, it's been it's been a special ride. You go in. People think your dad was telling you to No, stop. I was yelling at the ref. I already saw. What, so what it's was crazy. really going on there? Because I, like, I'd like to clear up what really happened. <laughs> well, I was so. getting frustrated at the right. ref. People thought I was talking to my dad, which is yeah. crazy. I was not talking to my dad. Was he, <laughs> tell, um, was he telling you that? Oh, I don't know. I, I have no idea. Oh, okay. um, he, he, ever, he was probably agreeing that? with me. You know <laughs> him. He was probably like, hey. Uh, but no, I saw that. Does, does, he ever, yeah. does he ever say anything like during a game like, hey, calm down to you? Or is he Pretty usually nice. just on your on your side? Oh, no. He definitely tells me to calm down sometimes. But I think the best thing about my dad is like he's the most chill person but when he played like he was the same fiery competitive <laughs> right. person that that I am so like I love him to death like he's always been my biggest fan he was my first coach um but I think he knows how I'm wired better than anybody yeah. so um that guy has my back and I love him to death but yeah I think it just shows kind of what camera angles can do sometimes right, they, they create their own stories so yeah <laughs> Does, do you ever look up to him like I, there's so much going on but there are still times you look up to him particularly, honestly or? I, the only time I really look at him is before the game we look at each other mm -hmm. I give him a head nod he gives me a head nod and it's like let's go I think that's like something cute that we share and we always have and um, I don't know if he's really missed I think he's maybe missed one or two of my college games like he's always been there for me so um yeah, it's, it's been special. I see you give the little heart sign after the game. Is that yeah, I do that to my family, too. Okay. Yeah, I throw this you, out uh, to them. You going Bruce Lee's on Monday? I might have to, now that you say that. These are like, these are Bruce Lee's, too, just a different colorway. So, oh, okay. when, yeah. when in the day but, yeah. do you pick your game day shoe? When I walk in for practice, I usually, well, I usually know a few days in advance because I always practice in them the day before. Um, but, yeah, I wanted to do these ones, but. The Bruce Lee is, it's like my like Mike shoe, so I love those. <laughs> They're the Mark shoes. Yeah. I'm sorry I don't know this, but what was the volume you used in the Big Ten tournament? Wilson, same one. So you're yeah. okay with that? And what do you, and yeah. you use the Nike? We yeah. usually use Nike here, okay. yeah. Okay, that's what I just Wilson and Nike, yeah. Thank you. The uh, Holy Cross players were really sort of starstruck about the idea of playing with you. Mm -hmm. Once that game actually starts, are you, are you guys just competing, competing, or are they still are, are they treating you a little bit differently? No, nah, I think it's all competing. I think that's exactly what you would expect from somebody. That's what I would expect if I was in their shoes too, and that's what I would do. And um, like I said, I thought they competed really, really hard. I think you got to give them a lot of credit. They've had a great year. Um, they ran some really great action. They're well coached. Um, so they should be really proud of themselves, hold their heads high. Um, they came in here. They didn't shy away from the crowd. They didn't shy away from the competition. And they gave us a good battle. They tested us. Um, they made us a little frustrated at times, but um yeah i don't think it was any starry eyes or anything but no it was fun to get out there and play and brush off a little rust and you know we have another one to prepare for at this point in the season you know all you care about is you win when the final buzzer goes off